Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. And as you can see, I have a home invasion, at least two zombie pigmen. One there and one behind over there. So they're going hopping around, jumping over the spikes every once in a while, getting themselves a bit weaker. So hopefully, fairly shortly, they'll disappear. <laughs> they will commit suicide and disappear. Let's hope that happens. So I've been busy. I'm going to go over this way, actually, to make to do this. Oh, actually, I wanted to make a redstone clock, didn't I? Because I put a hop underneath here like this. Oh. To clutch the bricks. So I've already got 10 bricks. Put those there, 29. And in here we've got quite a few bricks as well. I've only got four blocks. That's uh, nine, ten. Go that way. Hopefully the zombie pigment don't find that route. So now I want to make a redstone torch to get this thing going through a bit faster. So let's do that first of all. Redstone torch, you want a redstone. Let's make one of these. I don't have that much redstone, so I'm not going to waste too much time doing this. A redstone clock, we should be able to do, click it in. We've got one redstone clock, fantastic. So let's go over here. And put that redstone clock, I think I just need to put it on top here. So let's just put a block here, for example. And then put the redstone clock in front of it. And sure enough, that's working great. I'll remove this block now. And actually, I'll put another lever on there, if I remember rightly, to do that. And then that turns the redstone clock off, of course. So let's go around here and get a lever out of here. We can make another lever pretty straightforward. I don't think I've got any with me. Not that it hurts if I do have one, so... So let's go and put this lever on the front of that redstone clock. If I can reach, that is without standing on the spikes. I think I can. No, oh, I can't. I have to go and do it the long way around. <laughs> right, okay, so those are, those are cooking up nicely and they're finished now, so I can turn that off and get these out of here. So we've got 46 bricks from how many grass I made? I can't remember how much it was. No, oops. Oh, I just broke some of my armor. <laughs> I heard you go pop. My boots. Let's see if I've got some more boots in my bag. Nope, don't have any boots in the bag at that moment. Until somebody drops some more armor for me. Oh, I didn't know it didn't open the, this one, did I? I've got 48. That makes more sense. Let's open up this loop chest now, see what we got in it. Two chests, well, I'm getting lots of basic rewards at the moment, but chests, as it happens, are not too bad. They are a bit of a pain to make. Let's put them into here with those other two chests. I also noticed I've got something else in here that I didn't want to have in it. Was it? Oh no, I think that's correct. Well, so... One thing I haven't done, and I did intend to do this, excuse me, some people want to get to my crafting station. I, Psycho Nightmare Mangler has given me another tip to make a grindstone from AE2. So let's do that, because they're dead easy and dead cheap, and I just need three pieces of. Uh, and it's not, I've only got one in there. Oh, I'll take one out of there and go over there and get the other two pieces of quartz. Probably should keep a few more in here because these have got a bit more capacity now, so it makes life a bit easier. And we've got our quartz grindstone, and actually, that needs a handle, so let's do that as well. I think it's a handle. I'll tell you what we'll do because I can't remember the exact thing of it. Um, so it's out applied, and that's the one we want the wooden crank. We can make 11 wood cranks well, so we can make tons of wooden cranks no big deal so we can put this down and it's actually quite good for grinding basic material so let's put this down here for example and put into it the handle i have to shift click it in don't i and then i get some ores for example here i've got some gold ore of course when i get the smeltery up this is going to double the ores anyway so this gives me a 90 percent chance of getting a second one but of course it's manual and it takes quite a long time so let's just hold this down i don't know when it's going to do it because it'll go straight into the output 
There we go. And we got two gold, which is great. So thank you very much for your tip again. So I can now my mangle. Let's smelt those up some ingots. So of course that's the, the, the early way of getting that um, dust as well. So now we've got all of those things. So let's see if we can actually complete that next quest. Oh, yes. Just a thought. I should really come out here and take this out of here and see what we've got for mobs around. Probably quite a few wanting to attack me. Let's just stand here if there's any embers. They should come this route. No. Oh yes, there he, there he comes. Look. And then they go over the gold spikes and then they basically just grind themselves up nicely, which is great. As you can see. So, right. <laughs> <sighs> Oops, another another one. And I missed that one. Let's get my sword into hand. But not for long. So we should have by now some uh, steel. And indeed we have 26 steel and 26 light. Brilliant. That's actually great. So I've got upgrade and I've got steel. And I forgot to click those last time, didn't I? So things are progressing nicely. I'm happy. Let's put this diamond spike down here just in case. So how are those two piggies doing still in my base? Yeah, that's right. It won't be too long before we... I don't think they recover, do they? So that's good. <laughs> right. So let's carry on with this. Quest. I have to make some, probably some glass, don't I? How much glass or sand have I got on me? None. Okay. I have to go and get some sand. Let's go and get some sand out of this. Well, I need some cobble, don't I? Let's take half a stack of those. Plus one. Actually, I want one, two. I want 36. That'll do nicely. Like that. And then we can put these down to compress those. Nice. Because that happens to be a nice number to compress, 36. So we put these four down here, we get some. And then we can bash those with a hammer. Pick up those, get those done as well. That'll give us 36 pieces of sand, which will be more than enough to do the what we need to do. To get the, the windows and whatever for the smeltery, I think. So let's get these smelted into here. Take those out. Oh, I didn't get any XP from it. Actually, I've got a lot of XP. I better use some of this XP, hadn't I? Um, I hadn't thought about that for a while. I did notice I lost some last time as well. So we have, I suppose the hardest ones to do are things like gathering and mining now, because these abilities have gone up a lot. So this now is 12. And it's, and I'm now a fledgling, woo. So the next one is 13, and the other one, I think, is probably defense. I think we need to do defense, which I haven't got enough for yet. I need another two for defense. But when you got a lot of XP, and I think it was that... Which one was it that uh, gave me all that XP, that purpley thing? Right, okay. Let's put those into there. We don't need those with us at the moment. So we need to make some stuff now for the smeltery. So we need a, not a smelter. What am I looking at? So for Tinker's complement, I need Tinker's. Doesn't work. Tinker's, well. Uh, hmm, forgot the name of the pack, the mod pack. That's all. Oh, Tinker's. Oh, I'll do it this way. It's 22 pages of it's a bit too much, isn't it really? too much let's do it the other way <laughs> let's do it the other way if for <laughs> let's go look at the quest what have i got to do tinkering i need to do this one a seared tank let's look for seared in that case it's probably a better search isn't it so we need a seared tank seared gauge seared window seared glass seared tank oh I have to do it this way? Oh, that's different. 
So I have to basically make a porcelain tank and then put that through there. Okay. Well, actually, to be honest with you, that's not too bad. Let's do this. That'll give us 40 of those, and then we can get the four, and get the, the rest of these. And then that which probably should give us enough for doing all of this stuff that I need anyway. Excuse me. So let's do that. I only put that like that, don't I? That'll give me eight. 40 of those that's fine so now we need to make a porcelain tank <laughs> wow so that's probably i can do like this need some oh i need to smelt these as well don't i and i think i need to smelt them all i've probably got enough glass there so let's get these smelted okay that's going to take a few minutes to do in fact let's put the glass the back up there so when we take those out again it'll carry on and I got a reward, didn't I? So let's go and claim that reward. Immersive tech. So we got steel. And we get a loot chest. Claim that. Done. Let's open up the loot chest. It's bound to be useless. <laughs> Magnetic ruin dust, which is probably basic, and it's probably useless. It certainly doesn't seem to do me any favours at the moment. Where I've got 64 of those already. Let's have a look at the uses of that while I'm complaining about it being useless. Yeah, decorative coloured block. Fantastic. I'll shift those in there like that. Where's the other zombie pigman gone to? Have we got any more spikes with me? Actually I have. Let's get the other spikes out. I've got some more spikes. I've got some wooden spikes won't kill him but we'll but we'll hurt him so let's put him down there like that where's the other one gone to has he already died ah do you know i ain't 100 percent sure i'll have to watch my video and find out what because i haven't left this place have i oh yes i need to put that away So a porcelain gauge that some oh, I didn't take those out of there. Where's he gone to? Who's over there now? Okay, good. <laughs> it's it's really hard making videos when you got mobs in your base, I can tell you that for nothing. Real distraction. Right. Um I want the I want four of these. I need eight of these, don't I, for that one? Okay. So while that's doing this cooking, and I'm stuck on that, let's just put some of this stuff away. That's rice seeds, isn't it? Don't belong in there. Nothing actually belongs in there. This one I can put this away. This one I can put the sticks away. I do know what else I can build though. While I'm waiting for this stuff to go, in. and that should complete. Well. It's going to start to complete a quest anyway, so let's do that one. And I made this diamond pickaxe last time, didn't I? And it's actually in this chest here. This. Because I wanted to make uh, the mechanical miner. My can. This one. For that, we needed. A dropper, some cobblestone, and two resonating circuits. So I made the resonating circuits already. In fact, I made three. And droppers we got as a as a quest as a reward from a loot chest. I was complaining about them, but they're actually not too bad. Dropper. So now we can make the mechanical miner, I think, because the hard bit of that was to do the saw, uh, to do the axe, wasn't it? Look, mechanical miner. We need to make a mechanical user too. Sure enough, that's one part of the quest done. Now the next part of the quest was to make a mechanical user. And this requires two unstable ingots, which we have to do like this. So we need two ingots of iron and 18 diamonds, right? I'll do it like that way. Two ingots of iron. I'm not really low on iron. Well, I'm not really. I've got to grind up those bits. So let's turn those into nuggets. So we get 18 nuggets. Hopefully they are the right ones. 
So I've got enough sticks, so let's do that like this. Mechanical user. And that will give me exactly 18. And those 18 we can then make into two unstable ingots. Fantastic. And then we should be able to make the mechanical user. So you need two levers and one dropper. Okay, we need to get another dropper. I'll go into the right chest eventually. And lever, so I just need some cobblestone. I've probably got not enough. Let's put this diamonds back into here. That's what I was thinking about. Uh, cobblestone. How much cobblestone have we got in here? None. Okay. Well, let's take half a stack of this as well. So, probably a good idea to have taken a stack. And let's put that into here because I'm using those anyway. So, we need two levers. Let's get on with this one. Two levers. And that hasn't made the mechanical user. Why not? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, that's for another time, I reckon. <laughs> I didn't check that bit. And I've got nowhere near any of those skills. Was it 32 building for the mechanical? He can't make it. 32 building, 18 magic. Wow, that's going to take a long time before I can do that one. But this one's only seven. I didn't bother checking, did I? So let's put this in here. These bits prepared for that then. And then when we get a chance, we can do that. Have you not died yet, Piggy? Let's go and check his health. I'm not going to kill him. Well, you know, wouldn't, it might tempt me to do so. Two hearts left, okay. I could have to do that and let them all all come along to the front door, but they're only spikes, so they'll get, uh, they'll get wiped out by the spikes. Yep, decided to do it that way. And let's pick up these spikes. Now I can do that. Actually, I'm a bit puzzled by that because he should have, he should have gone, shouldn't he? And there don't seem to be any other angry zombie pigmen in the area. That's interesting too. Okay, good. So now these should be completed. I should have enough porcelain so I can make a porcelain tank. I've got to make some more seared bricks, haven't I? What's on my shorter for seared bricks? From grout, I mean. Hmm. So, we need a seared tank. Porcelain tank. Make one of those. I have not even thought about doing it this way. Let's put that glass in there like that. So now we need to make some more grout. Let's make some more grout. I think that I think the problem with the grout is going to be what are we missing? Sand, uh, porcelain. We've got plenty of. Have I got porcelain? Where do I see that? Okay. I will make some more. Let's put those into here for the time being. Um, I should have enough water now, so let's just get another dust out. Let's get rid of these spikes as well. I don't need those in my basement. It's a good way to get XP as well. Mine your own spikes. So, right now, I have a feeling we have to make something else for this. So let's have a look. I wanted to make some more clay, didn't I? Oh, good. So this will take its... Actually, it's already filling up a bit. That's good. So we can make another eight porcelain. I 
Ah, oh, I need to get rid of my inventory cleared up a bit. I do apologise for this. It seems to be an ongoing process, doesn't it? What can they get rid of in here, those two? Um, and I think I'm doing the... Oops, nice freeze there. Yeah, I'm putting the other bits in here like that. Oh, actually, that goes into the other chest. It's a bit complicated at the moment where I'm storing stuff, isn't it? I think that goes into here. Oh, no, it goes into the food chest. I think it's a reasonably good food. No, it doesn't. I'll have to leave it there for now. I'll sort it out later on. Right, good. One aroma back up our starting back up. The world may lag for a bit. So let's just check that tank business. It's really hard. So I need a yeah, a casting tape a casting basin. Now oh, maybe I can do that. It's a bit strange when this is doing this like this, actually. Yes, there we go. And I haven't made a casting porcelain basin yet, so that's good. So let's go and put this on this side over here. Where this tank is. So then I have to put into this the porcelain tank. And then we have to pour seared bricks onto that. So let's get the grout going again. And I think I need some more sand. So let's just make sure. What have I got in my stuff here at the moment? Do it like this. Seven will be enough, I reckon. But I'm not 100% sure of that. We'll just do half and half. We'll do four and three, I think. So let's just do half of those. In fact, it's the sander one to do another one of, isn't it? Right, now I should be able to make some more grout. I'll make all of this into grout. I think we're going to need it. We're going to have to do this the whole process for everything we make. So let's put those into there. Now, I don't know how much it's going to take to do one of these. It might, hopefully, six pieces are going to be enough. I could think I turned off that redstone clock. So we just wait for this to do its business. It won't take too long. By the looks of it. I've got to figure out how to use a mechanical miner. I've, not, I've never used that, so I think that's a new thing anyways. So let's have a look. Does this work? Oh, it looks like it is. Fantastic, look at that. First Tinker's Construct. Now I can remember the name it now. Tinker's Construct component we've got. Fantastic. So that's <laughs> that one done. So we need this one, I guess. Oh, it's only a furnace with bricks. That's not so bad. Okay, so we need um, another rack. Which we've got no shortage of. We'll take a stack of that. Pick up a stack, yep. Yep, so I'm throwing my stuff away instead of pressing the W button and pressing the Q, which is not the first time I've done that. So we just basically need to make a furnace. And then around the furnace, we've put cobblestone, isn't it? I think it's cobblestone we've put around the furnace. If I'm remembering things correctly, which it probably isn't. Yeah, didn't think so. It might be stone. So we'll look at the uses of this one. Ah, oh, yes, it's nether bricks. Okay, I haven't got nether bricks in there, but I've got nether bricks in the other one. Sixty-four. One furnace, fantastic. Oh, actually, no, I better do the right thing, hadn't I? I probably do need a furnace, but I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't checked. Let's double check that again. So, Tinker's seared bricks. We need a seared, 
We need a controller, and I can't see the controller. Ah. See it, furnace controller. It's not as a smeltery controller I want. Okay. Let's double check this and make sure we do the right thing. Press done that one so that's tinkering so we're working on this one at the moment so we need two said bricks a smeltery drain okay and a smeltery controller I'll tell you what we'll do look up sm smeltery as a, as a search so we need a smeltery controller which is a porcelain melter okay fine which is a porcelain window gauge or that should change, yes. Okay, I probably can do this straight off using that tank that we made before. So let's go put this one into this and see if we can do that one as well. I was a bit suspicious when I was seeing this wasn't doing exactly as I was expecting it to do, so we can put the three more grouts into here. So now we've got the second component. It's funny when you make a whole episode just making some smeltery bits, isn't it? So the next bit. Controller. Drain. Let's have a look for the drain. Hopefully that's not so difficult. Smeltery drain. It's not good. Faucet. I reckon the faucet's going to be the standard recipe. Indeed it is. The other one was bricks, wasn't it? I think it was just bricks. No, nope. uh, probably four. And that should complete that quest. Let's just see. Force it. Smeltery, controller, smeltery drain, two seared bricks and one seared tank. Do I have to have that all in my inventory at the same time? That's going to be more difficult. Let's get rid of these spikes and things that go in here. <sighs> so, controller, tank, drain, faucet, bricks. Ah, sure enough. Smell tree is complete. Fantastic. So, let's go and look at the reward for that. Another loot chest. Well, Put it this way, I'm not holding my breath about the loot chest. Let's have a look at this one. Ancient motive core from Ember's basic. Why always getting basic rewards these days? I've got some of those somewhere. I think these are actually more useful than the ones I've been getting recently. Another six of those. An ancient codex from Ember's. Okay, what's the recipe for those, by the way? Ancient bricks with an ember shard. An ember shard is coming from a ember crystal. Okay, I don't know how to do those yet. I suspect those are drops from something or other. So it's probably quite a good reward, this one. Let's take those out of there while I'm thinking about it. So now we can actually go and set up a small tree. But I think I'm going to leave that one until next episode. Gravel, sand, dust, netherrack. I might not do, you know. What I might do between episodes. It's going to be fairly straightforward to set that this down, isn't it? I got enough space in here. For a small smelter, we do have enough space. Let's take out one block from here, like this. And we can put down a seared brick. Like that. And then we can put down... What have we got here? Well, I suppose... That can go there. We don't... Well, maybe not so there, actually. Maybe the other place. I can hear mobs dropping all the time. Embers, anyway. So we can put the controller down here. Tree controller. We can put the the tank here, and then we can put the, the drain down here, 
like that, I think is all we need to do for a small smeltery. So let's have a look. Now, have I missed something out here? I thought that was the minimum size of this thing. Let me just double check this. Yeah, that's in the right place. That should transform into a control, into a thing. I'll have to check it out. So I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do for that one. members faffing around. I wonder where they're dropping, if they're dropping anything interesting. Let's go and have a look. They don't tend to drop anything when they just fall down, do they? I was thinking about moving these spikes as well, just to here. Or putting a pair down just here like this. That's not a good idea. Uh-oh. Something's attacking me. What is attacking me now? Oh, actually, I don't need to put those down now, do I? Let's just do this. Let's put the spike down here. Then anything coming around the corner will get caught with the spike. Oh, that's a bit deep down there. All right, let's do it the hard way. Nine. And I hear a zombie pigman. Hopefully he's not angry with me. It doesn't sound like he is. And he's over there, so he's probably not. So that's okay too. Where are my gold spikes? What have I done with them? That would be a good idea to put one down just so that they can't come into my base as I'm doing things. And get any more friendly visits. Like we just got the earlier on. Uh, I can't find them. I'll put them somewhere. There we go. I'll just put this spike down here in case then we get any unwanted visitors. We can just put them down like that. It's, it's best for embers, that particular approach. So. It doesn't need a faucet on there to make complete, does it? Let's just put the faucet on and see if it actually doesn't make a difference. Oh, hello, visitor. I'm sure it doesn't. Maybe this is the wrong way around. Maybe it's supposed to face outwards. Ah, yeah, there we go. How about that? <laughs> so, now we can actually smell stuff and get two weeks. And two ingots worth of things. So let's just put some lava in the tank. I should probably got lots of stuff in here. 700 millibuckets, I think. Let's change that to pushing down mode. So that's now filled up. Change that to collecting mode. How much have we got in there? Full. Fantastic. So all I need to do now is to put a table down. Let's just make a table, another table. <laughs> Okay. They are funny those zombie pigments, they don't like to, to commit suicide a bit, don't they? He's running off in anger. So let's get some ores. We'll take the gold ore for instance. Now we'll take some iron, because we need lots of iron. We need lots of both, but... So if we now put this into control of course I can put a total of one fantastic All right, I'd have to hop at that if I want to do it this properly so let's do this like this uh, probably shouldn't even need to put it up a layer maybe I don't have that much space in there uh, at the moment anyway so we need to basically create a new uh, table so let's can we do a table I mean is it a casting table is it is as simple as doing that it is fantastic. So we can put this table down here like this. And then we can go and get our cast for our ingots. 
which is that one. I'm going to put that down here like that. And we should all guarantee to get two ingots worth. Not just like that. So we've now got all doubling sorted out. But it not only works for that one, it also works for the other ones like Cobalt. I think it works on Cobalt. Let's just test that one as well. I don't need a whole, st whole stack of it. Oh, I can just do it with the one I've got. And that should also smelt to two ingots. Now, of course, we can do alloys. So we can make some manilium. So I'll just finish that one off and put this down here like this. It's a tiny smeltery for the time being. We can also smelt cobblestone, I think. Let's see if that works. You normally can smelt cobblestone to make seared bricks. Don't need you. String, where did that come from? Oh, yes, of course, for that mob that was. Whatever it was, it was throwing string at me. I have to wait. This obviously takes longer. And we should end it with two ingots of cobalt. Or. And of course, it's almost the end of the episode. We'll just. Are there any quests I haven't? I've completed that I haven't claimed. This one. I've done that already, haven't I? Immersive tech, all done. I haven't done this. Started. Look, industrial now. Got a new quest: latex and to make latex. That one's all basically all done as far as we can go. This one we have stuck on. I haven't claimed this one, but I'm not claiming loot chests. <laughs> Auto sieves, we haven't done it. Well, we don't really can't really do this until we actually get a lot of power. Diamond hammer, we can't do. Maybe we can do that now, actually. I think the recipes have changed a bit. So we'll look for diamond hammer. I've used quite a lot of diamonds today, anyway, so maybe it's. Yep, sure enough, it's. Ooh, no, it's these diamond ingots which are difficult. Because they require one of those. I can actually make one, but I'm certainly going to be able to make a compressed hammer. There we go. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Because I've had a lot of fun. I'm really having a lot of fun with these mobs. They're driving me crazy. Anyway, until next time, bye for now.